their grandfather Nelson Mandela or Madiba, as he is affectionately known by his clan name, is a Nobel Peace Laureate and world-renowned statesman who continues to draw global attention for his exemplary role in ending apartheid in South Africa nearly two decades ago. Grandsons, Indaba Mandela and Kweku Mandela Amua are seemingly poised to pick up the baton from their iconic grandfather given their work in Africa and recent global moves they have been making quietly. Founders of Africa Rising Foundation and Out of Africa Entertainment, of which Kweku is a partner, Indaba and Kweku have been honing their skills as social entrepreneurs and tackling some of Africa's pressing challenges, mainly youth empowerment. Despite the extensive media coverage on their grandfather's recent hospital visit for a recurring lung infection, Indaba and Kweku were upbeat about their grandfather's health, optimistic about Africa and its future and excited their collaborative film project, The Power of Words with American superstar actor, Robert De Niro. I caught up with them during the Tribeca Film Festival in New York City for the screening of The Power of Words, a short film compilation of Nelson Mandela's words, which paid tribute to the peaceful vision of the South African leader on the occasion of his upcoming 95th birthday. They have also launched a social networking site called Mandela.is in honor of their grandfather. I spoke with Indaba and Kweku at their hotel in Manhattan to get their take on doing business in Africa and to learn more about their entrepreneurial journey, current business venture, Mandela.is and lessons they learned from their grandfather, Nelson Mandela. Farai Gundan. The narrative on Africa is changing rapidly, with the media, particularly Western media acknowledging some of the changes that have been and are taking place on the ground. But is Africa really on the rise? Indaba Mandela. Yes, Africa is on the rise. If you look at Africa 10 years ago, Africa was a completely different continent. Fast forward to today, there are governance structures that are currently being put in place. Structures that enable transparent and accountable governance where Africans can hold their leaders accountable for their actions. There are economies that are booming and growing across the continent. What is emerging is free enterprise which did not exist before. So I would emphatically say that Africa is on the rise. In South Africa for example, we have B, Black Economic Empowerment, policies which have been implemented in the past 10 years. While we have not met all our B objectives, it is important to note that we are progressing in the right direction. The real rise is happening under the media radar, for example, Kelvin Doe aka DJ Focus, a young teenager from Sierra Leone, built a generator and a radio station from scrap metals and waste material.